good morning. Oh, the last morning of the trip. It's a little bittersweet, but I'm excited. Um, again, still in Hawking Hill State Park. And I am on the trail to Ash Cave right now. I don't think that um, anyone's out here yet. And I didn't realize at first, but because this park is so accessible to individuals who are handicapped and the trails are so short, that's why it gets so busy. So I would strongly encourage you to get out here early if you're here to take photos at least anyway. I mean, even if you don't do photos, even if you just like to travel and um, you know take pictures with your cell phone and you're not too serious about photography, I would still say get here early because you just get a completely different feel for a place when no one else is around, so pretty excited. Really beautiful trail. I'm uh, coming up on the waterfall now, so excited to kind of soak in this area for a little bit on this beautiful, quiet morning. I mean, you really do get a sense of peace and calm when you get out this early. You can hear the birds, all that fun stuff. So let's go check out this cave. Got my setup here, um, Nikon D7200, Sigma 17 to 52.8. Um, there's a circular polarizer to cut the glare off the water. A uh, pretty simple shot, just have the water leading up to the waterfall with some of these beautiful hemlocks over here on the side. And um, settings, ISO 100, uh, least amount of noise as possible. Um, F8 and I think I'm at a two-second shutter speed. Yeah, pretty simple, but it's such a beautiful area. I'll go ahead and show you that photo now. got the one shot and then added myself as an adventure selfie and then I took one close-up detail shot which I'll show you that now and yeah I think that's done for me at least in this location and I'm headed to Old Man's Cave which is the other really popular um, destination I guess here at Hawking Hills I'm imagining there's going to be uh, some people there one thing I kind of just wanted to say is, oh, you, you know, got up so early in the morning, you went to this spot, and you only got three photos. I mean, don't necessarily get discouraged about how many photos you get. It's not about, really, it's not about the photos. Um, if, if you get up early to shoot sunrise, and you have it in your head, that if you don't get a photo or if the sunrise doesn't happen, that it wasn't a good morning thing, you've already lost. You've missed the point. The point isn't to get photos and all this other stuff. The point is to get out in the nature and um, really let nature give to you what it needs to give to you. And the people who really get it will know what I'm talking about. So, you know, for me, if, if I get a photo, cool, if not, it's cool too because I get to, uh, you know, receive the things that I need to receive from nature. And I get to enjoy these special moments in my life that I'll remember forever. And now that I've started YouTube, I get to share those with you. And I hope you get out here and 
want to experience those things because I know what it's done for my life personally and uh, I hope you can experience a little bit of that too so okay headed back to the car gonna try to get to old man's cave and yeah let's go Okay, so headed to Upper Falls now. And, oh man, I would definitely say um, to get, to come here first, come to Old Man's Cave first. This is definitely the most established part of this park and gets busiest the fastest. It's nine, which I mean, I guess isn't that early anymore for the summer, but there's quite a few people here already. So I would hit Old Man's Cave first. Um, but just for me, I think from the research that I did about Ash Cave, that made me want to make sure that I had that place all to myself. And I'm still glad about that decision, but headed to Upper Falls now and gonna go shoot there. Um, I've already probably shown you, but I got some, a few shots. It's kind of a, Old Man's Cave is kind of a hard place to shoot. It's so huge and... So I think it just kind of translate a little bit better on video, so. But, uh, headed to Upper Falls now, and I'll show you that here in just a second. All right, I'm back in the car now, and uh, that's gonna do it. This trip uh, was a blast, but um, it's time to get back on the road. I have a 15 hour drive back to Nebraska, which is gonna suck, but uh, it's cool. I got the energy drink, I got the tunes, I got everything I need. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this series, leave a like, that'd be sweet. If you have any questions about any of the places I went, uh, some trail advice, parking advice, hotel advice, any or general traveling advice, leave a comment, let me know. I will get back to you and give you my best guess on what will help you have a awesome trip because I really hope that you go to some of these places. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, go ahead and subscribe because I think in October I will be going to California and going to Yosemite. So that should be super rad. So subscribe, hang out, come along and yeah it was great thank you for watching bye